Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day whenever and wherever you are watching this video. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I always feel like I start my videos off with this phrase lately, but I know it's been a minute um, since I've uploaded anything here. Life has been lifing in the best way possible. And I've just been really busy um, with just day-to-day -day stuff and haven't really found the time to sit down and film. But today's a new day and I am coming back with another video and today's going to be a favorites video. To be honest, this is probably one of the most enjoyable videos I like making aside from just vlogging because I feel like it can be a very casual conversation where we're just talking about favorites and things that I've been enjoying lately and so it doesn't just seem so formalized. Don't get me wrong, I do like tutorials and like get ready with me and stuff like that, but I do really enjoy just sitting down and talking to the camera. So again, thank you for joining me in this video today. Don't forget to give the video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribed to my channel, and don't forget to share my content with your friends. Um, and certainly leave me a comment in the comment section below um, about anything that I talk about today. So without further ado, I am going to get started. My goal today in this video is to try to get through with as little edits as possible. Lately, I just have not been really feeling the editing process, and so I don't really want to edit a lot of just stuff out. So I'm going to be very um, intentional about, um, you know, getting through this process as quickly as I can. So again, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we have a couple of categories today that I want to go through as far as favorites. Um, we have makeup, skincare, body, and then like lifestyle kind of stuff. So I always like to start this off with makeup. So I've got my little makeup stash here. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first is what I've been kind of using as my foundation. So it's hot here in Kansas City and so I just don't like to use really heavy foundations during these really sweaty humid months. And so what I've been using lately is a tinted moisturizer and this is from the brand Bare Minerals. And this is their Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with SPF 30. So I have two shades. I have 7.5 Dune and 8.5 Terra. And Dune is like my winter shade. Terra is my summer shade. And when I'm in the in-between phase, then I mix the two together. And that's what I did today as my foundation. Hopefully it translates okay here on camera. But I just find that it gives a nice light coverage and then I can go in and spot conceal. What's really nice about these two is that, you know, you can make a really pretty makeup look without looking too makeup-y. So just keep that in mind if you're ever like, I want something that's going to keep me light and fresh looking. These are really good. You can get them, again, wherever Bare Minerals is sold, but these have been like my favorites for like everyday foundation just because I don't like to wear a lot of like really heavy makeup in the summer because I just feel like I'm going to sweat it off anyway. So might as well wear something that has, gives you SPF and makes your skin look pretty good. So I did mention spot concealing, so I want to talk about two things that I've been really enjoying to help me spot conceal. First thing is this e.l.f. corrector in the shade orange. They just released these probably, I would say, in the springtime, so they haven't been out very long. They have other color correcting shades. I personally like orange because I do have some discoloration on my face. You guys know I talk about my dark circles all the time orange peach colors if you understand your color theory help cancel out um, darker colors on your skin and help neutralize them so i do use this under my eyes i am starting to get some discoloration like on my chin sometimes i get discoloration on my cheeks depending on really how my skin wants to react that day and so i just like to use this now i will say that this is not the most hydrating formula but as long as you do keep your face, you know, prepped and primed and moisturized, then you won't feel like this is like sucking moisture out of your skin. So this is a nice color corrector. And then I top it off with this Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS, and I'm in the shade Biscuit. And so what's nice about this, again, because it is the summer months, I don't want to wear anything super heavy on my skin as far as a concealer goes. Don't get me wrong. I love me a good full 
coverage concealer like the Too Faced Born This Way multi-purpose I think concealer is what they call it. Um, I do love me like Huda Beauty's like fake filter where it's like very full coverage. The NYX, uh, what do they call it? It's like the bare, bare skin or something like that. I mean those are like full coverage concealers. This I would say gives you like medium coverage so it won't like cover everything but it does give a nice natural look to the skin and it does give you a little bit of hydration and moisture. I would recommend this for all skin types. I've heard people with oily skin love this, people with normal skin, people with dry skin like myself love this. So I would say give it a try um, and you can just find it wherever NARS is sold. So there's that. I've been really enjoying this highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Pillow Talk. And I've just been having a lot of fun, um, probably in the past six to nine months, just really exploring different things from Charlotte Tilbury. I've tried her foundation. I've tried a couple of her um, like setting powders, her setting spray. Um, and then I picked up her beauty wand in the shade Pillow Talk. This just gives a really, really beautiful um, highlighted look to the skin. It's more of like a rosy peach almost color, light pink. This translates well on my skin, and I would say I'm like a medium to deep skin tone. I would say probably anybody darker than me. It would look good, but it just, it would probably translate a little bit differently on you. But I would say if you're curious about it, the best way to figure out something's going to work out for you is just to walk into your local Sephora. That's what I did before I purchased this. They just have testers up there. I just kind of swatched it on the back of my hand just to make sure it was going to look good and it's it's a beautiful shade. So I would definitely recommend this um, and a little goes a long way. You just kind of, it's not, you just basically squeeze it out and the comes out of this doe foot and then you can just put it right on your face. So very, very beautiful shade. Now in terms of lashes, um, I haven't been wearing a lot of like fake lashes lately just because I have been keeping my sim my look pretty simple but when I do wear lashes so I am wearing lashes today for the sake of the video is Glamnetic brand so if you're not familiar with Glamnetic what they are is that they sell magnetic lashes so the idea is that you use their liner and you just pop the lash on it is very very beginner friendly I would say if you're a beginner in makeup or even just a beginner using lashes either for yourself or on a professional level um I, I mean glamnetic is where it's at i mean literally how it works is there is i don't know if you can see very well but there's like what they call anchors so there's like magnets all along the lash strip and that's what anchors to the eyeliner that you put on so it's a magnetic eyeliner and i really enjoy that because again if i'm on the go i don't really want to wait for like the glue to dry and then me to stick it on my eye and then like kind of maneuver it and it just it can get a little interesting <laughs> I'll just say it that way and so it's nice when I am in a hurry and I just want to look put together either for like a YouTube video or like I just I need to like look a little bit more oomphed up if that makes sense like I just want to kind of amplify my look a little bit I can just pop on these lashes and it makes it really easy and what's nice unlike traditional glue is that they are like on your eye. The liner is long wearing, so it doesn't like wear off over time. Like, you know, sometimes like eyelash glue, like it dries up too quick in some places and then your eyelash is like anchored and secured in one part of your eye and then it's like going haywire on the other part of your eye. And so what's nice about this is because it is that strong magnetic liner, that eyelash is not going anywhere until you actually like have to physically peel it off of your eye and then wash off the liner. So it is a really great alternative for all day wear. I initially started looking into this because I was getting lash extensions. If you have been a while on my channel, you knew that I was getting eyelash extensions for a while and then it turned out I was allergic to the glue that they were using and so I couldn't continue on with that. And I was really bummed because I really liked getting my eyelashes done. And so I was kind of like, well, maybe I could just start putting false lashes on every day. But I was like, oh my gosh, like just the idea of like, again, putting the glue on, waiting for it to dry. Like it just seemed like such a process. And so when I found Glabnetic, I was like, oh wow, like this is honestly as easy as just like throwing on my eyeliner and doing mascara, but you look a little bit more put together. And so that's where I started looking into the brand and started becoming more invested in them. So 
Again, I think you could use these every day. Um, if you already are an everyday eyelash user, you could just, you know, switch to this again if you're already in the process of kind of already putting that on. So that's why I really love Glammedic. You can buy Glammedic wherever they are sold, which is Sephora, Ulta, and their website. I would say if you're looking for a deal, um, Ulta has sales for their stuff. I feel like it's been kind of consistent lately, like probably in the past three months, I am aware of at least two different sales they've had on the Glammedic products. And Glammedic, the website themselves, have sales continually. So check it out if you don't want to pay full price for something, which who wants to pay full price for anything these days? I mean, come on, the economy is crazy and inflation, right? But um, just check it out if you're looking for a sale. So Glammedic, y'all. And the style I'm wearing today is, I think it's called Gossip. Yes, it's the style Gossip, which is kind of that, I don't know, wispy kind of vibe. So anyway, that's Gossip. If you're like, girl, what type of lashes are you wearing today? It's Gossip, girl. That's right. Okay. Excuse me. Um, so that's lashes. The other thing about lashes is... I have been really liking some mascaras lately. It's the Ilia Lengthening one. It's it's in my drawer over here and I just really honestly don't feel like digging it out. But it's the Ilia Lengthening Mascara and then the Bad Girl Bang is what I've been really liking. I have this also in the shade Black. So when I'm not wearing false eyelashes, I will mix the Ilia and the Benefit Bad Girl Bang together. And it gives my lashes a very nice like lengthened, volumized look but very natural. I like, I got this in the shade blue just because I thought it'd be fun to like add a pop of color to my lashes. So I've been really enjoying this one too. So again, the Bad Girl Bang and the Ilia Lengthening Mascaras is what I've been really enjoying lately. So that is the makeup category. So not too much lately in the makeup category. Honestly, I probably need to start researching a little bit more and figuring out what I want to test out. I've been kind of in this mode lately. I'll talk about this and then I swear I'll move on. Um, I've been kind of in this mode lately of just like working on using the things that I have and not purchasing a lot more. Um, I'm kind of like in this decluttering, like use what you have phase before you go out and buy more stuff um, when it comes to like makeup. Cause I feel like I have so much of it and like I rarely, have time to even use hardly a lot of it. So I just, I feel like I need to be a better steward of my stuff. So anyway, more to come on that. All right, so now let's talk about um, body stuff. So with summer being here, I always love to emphasize it's summer, y'all. Summer is actually one of my favorite seasons, but it just gets so hot. It's just, it's so ridiculously hot. And so I don't like to use lotions during the summer on my skin. I feel like my skin just gets really like, it absorbs the moisture too much. And then I just feel like I feel stuffy and like stifled. And I don't know, I just don't like the feeling of lotion on my skin in the summer. So in the summer, I use a lot of oils. So these are just some things that I have been helping me keep my skin moisturized, but also dry because it just gets so hot and humid here. So. First thing I'm going to talk about, um, and this is like body in terms of like skincare and like body, so keep that in mind. Um, so the first thing is the Super Goop Daily Dose um, SPF Oil in with SPF 40. So I really love this. It's very lightweight oil. It has like skincare properties plus the sunscreen aspect. I just mix this in with my daytime moisturizer and it does give my skin a very nice moisturized feel with a slight glow because of the oil. I would say typically if you're an oily person, you probably don't want to put more oil on your skin. So this is definitely more for your normal to dry folks, but I really love this. I've been really enjoying it. Um, and again, I like that it has SPF in it. And if you're familiar with Super Goop, they have really good clean ingredients. So I've really been liking this a lot lately. And then the other thing, I have another thing from Super Goop, not sponsored, um, is this Glow Oil with SPF 50. So I purchased this um, initially because we were on vacation a few weeks ago and I wanted a body oil that had SPF in it because we we're going to be like outside a lot and we we're going to be in the water. And so I just wanted something that 
would make my skin look glowy but also protect me from the sun and so I found this super goop oil online on Amazon and I actually enjoy it so it comes in a five ounce bottle and on vacation I mean you can see I barely used it because you only need like a few sprays and it can cover your whole entire body so what I use it for now is if I do a workout outside I will spray this on my arms and legs and it will protect me from the sun so I like this it's a nice lightweight oil it has a nice kind of like tropical um, fruity kind of smell to it so let me see it has that but it has like just a like a smidge just a smidge of like sunscreen smell but it's not terrible um so yeah check that out if you're interested in a body oil with spf in it um another body oil i've been really getting into is this bio oil and you can use this all over your body so face and body um this they advertise as an, an oil to improve your scars and stretch marks I also just use this like as my, my moisturizer when I get out of the shower. So I get out of the shower, my skin's still wet. I don't dry off. My skin's still wet physically from the water. And then I put the oil on. I let it sit maybe on my skin for like a few minutes and then I pat myself dry and I am very moisturized from this. I really, really like it. Again, it has multiple uses. You could use it just as a moisturizer. You could use it to help with scars, stretch marks. They also talk about this is helpful for uh, anti-aging again you can use it on your face as well I don't use it on my face but you certainly could if you wanted to um bio oil is very um, affordable you can find it even at Walmart now I got mine at Target um, and so this is just something where again my skin feels very moisturized it feels lightweight but I'm not like depleted or feeling like I like my skin's dehydrated and I think the key is use it when your skin is wet I think if your skin is dry it might not be as effective for me I've, I've used it both ways wet and dry and I feel like it feels a little bit better on my skin when my skin is wet kind of gets a chance to absorb it a little bit and then I pat myself dry so anyway bio oil is another oil I've been really enjoying and then um, the last oil I'll talk about and then we'll move on to some other skin and body stuff is this truly glazed donut aftershave oil and it's got coconut grape passion fruit lavender and vitamin e and so they advertise this as an aftershave oil so i do use as directed every time i shave my body i put um like a full like doppler because it's like a um, dropper kind of idea i'll just take that in, in my hand rub it between my hands and then i'll just kind of smooth it all over my body and it has a nice, oh gosh, they call it glazed donut because of the smell, but it's a very sweet smell. It's sweet, but it's not too overpowering. And it just does give like your skin like this nice glisteny glow. Uh, to me, it's not moisturizing at all. But maybe if you have a different skin type than me, maybe if you have like a little bit more oilier skin, it might feel differently to you. Sorry, my hair. <laughs> but for me, I don't... I don't get a lot of moisture out of this. This just makes your skin look really glisteny and it makes your skin feel just a little bit extra soft after that shave. So, but I still, I like it. I like the way it looks on my skin. I like the way that it smells. And so I will continue to use it. So this is the Truly Glazed Donut Aftershave Oil. Now, that's all the oils out of the way. <laughs> so the other two things I've been really enjoying lately is the Carp sweat absorbing women's powder in the shade not shade wow scent white jasmine and so this is like a basically like a body powder so i know some people use like baby powder to kind of absorb moisture baby powder is not great because it has talc and for women we know that talc can it's been linked to like ovarian cancer and like uterine cancer so i don't want to use like baby powder um this is talc free but the idea is that you can put this anywhere where you kind of get a little extra moisture um, you would put this on so you can just use your hands i use like a body puff and i just kind of dab it all over and i do it outside when i get outside the shower um and i feel like it lasts 24 hours um until i shower again so 
Um, it's, it's a really nice thing. You can get this on Amazon, I believe. Um, the other powder that I actually use in conjunction with this, since we're talking about powders, if I can't find that, then I also use this Mega Babe one and it's their body dust. And it does the same thing where it is, um, a powder you can use all over that has no talc, no power, no paraben. So it's, it's better for you than baby powder. I got this one from Target. No, they sell it at Target, but I got it at on Amazon. Yep, Amazon. Okay, so those are my powders. I'm just gonna go put them back here really quick. My little caddy over here. And then the last thing is this clay mask and it's from Aceology and, this, and it's their detoxifying treatment mask. What's unique about this is that it is a peel off mask. So it's not a traditional clay mask where you know it's going to like um, harden on your skin then you have to wash it off. You can just peel this off with your, like just peel it off once it gets hardened on your face. I feel like it cleanses the skin just as well as like a traditional clay mask, but it's less drying, which is what I absolutely love about it. Um, right after we got home from vacation, I just felt like my skin needed a reset. Like it was kind of asking me for help. It's like, oh my gosh, like please. <laughs> my skin, oh, I don't know if anybody else's skin is like this. Tell me in the comments below. I feel like my skin always kind of does like a weird freak out when I go on vacation. Like it doesn't feel as soft, it doesn't feel as smooth. And I'm using the same products, but I think like water quality and like just new environments, like I feel like my skin is not always at its best depending on where I'm vacationing. And so when I get home, like I feel like I have to do like a skin reset, of like get everybody back on track. And so this helped me get back on track and I, I enjoy it very much. I don't know where you can purchase this. Um, just look up Aceology, and maybe if you want to take a screenshot of this logo, you can. I got this in a BoxyCharm box like six months ago, seven months ago, somewhere around there. And so I, I don't know where you can find this, but look it up on Google. It'll steer you in the right direction. Probably Amazon too. I feel like Amazon has everything these days. So that is body stuff. How are we doing our time? We're doing great. Okay, so let's talk about hair. There's a few things I want to talk about in the hair department and then we've got lifestyle and we'll be done. So hair. So a few things. Let's talk about curl creams first. So there's two curl creams I want to talk about. The first one is this Kenra curl defining cream. I get this at my local beauty brands. If you don't have a beauty brands, Ulta sells Kenra as well. In general, Kenra is a professional line, so a lot of professional hairstylists use this. Um, but it's a really, really great brand, and I just love the way it makes my hair feel. It moisturizes it, but it doesn't leave it feeling too crunchy. So it's it's a really great product. Same thing with this one. This is the Curls for Days by Taji P. Henson, her curl line. Um, you can get this at Target, but this is her curl cream, and it's got mango seed butter, coconut, Prequi, P-E-Q-U-I, Pequi, and broccoli seed oil. So this is really, really nice too. It's cruelty free, vegan, silicone free, all of that fun jazz. Oh, I think my family might be back, but I'll keep moving on. All right, and then this is the Heritage Volume Mousse. It's called Sky's the Limit Volume Mousse. This is also sulfate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, and vegan. Hello? Hi. I'm home. You're home. Okay. Minutes. Okay. Love you. Enjoy your video. Yeah, I am. Um, as I was saying, um, this is the Sky's the Limit Volume Mousse by Her Heritage. I get this from Walmart. This is a really great volumizing mousse. They claim it's a crunch-free, flake-free formula that helps tame frizz, add volume, and create definition to your beautiful waves and curls. So that's what I have in my hair today along with the Kenra um, curl cream. So I just put both of those things in my hair. I lightly diffused it and then I'm gonna let the rest air dry. But it really does give just some nice extra moisturization and definition. I don't really notice any difference in the volume department, but I feel like my hair is already kind of voluminous, but it can probably give me a little bit more body and probably a little bit more definition. But I can't 
I can't speak to the volume part. I just like how it gives my skin, my skin, excuse me, my hair a little bit more definition. Um, so anyway, check it out. Like I said, Walmart Heritage Sky's the Limit Volume Mousse, okay? Then as a leave-in conditioner, I've been using this BioSilk Silk Therapy Miracle 17. So I think this is their answer to like, it's a 10. Um, the only difference is it does 17 things instead of 10 things. So it they list on the back all the things that it does, but I'm not gonna talk about that today because we'd be here forever in a day. But it does 17 benefits for your hair. I would feel like it's universal for all hair types. I use it on my hair, which is like thick, curly hair. I use it on my son's hair. He's got like thick, wavy hair. Um, and we both enjoy it. So if you are in the need of a leave-in conditioner, this is a really good one. I would say it's probably more on the lightweight end. It's not like a super heavy cream. Um, this is more of like the spray, like light leave-in conditioner. So if you like the BioSilk brand, I would definitely check this out. So that's for hair. Okay, so now we're moving into the lifestyle category. So first thing I'm gonna talk about is um, something that I've been using on the regular quite frequently lately. And this is just due to like the air quality that we're experiencing right now. Um, you can read the news and figure out what's going on as far as our air quality. But um, <clears throat> I already struggle, see? <clears throat> I already struggle with summertime allergies and just like, things in the air here. I just feel like my body's allergic to almost everything it feels like these days. And so even though I'm taking like a regular allergy pill every day, <clears throat> excuse me, um, basically I sometimes do struggle with like my breathing. And so I was like, okay, what can we do to fix this? And so I went and invested in a personal humidifier. And that's what this is. This is a, the brand is My Pure Mist and the style is free. And the reason it's called the free one is because it is a cordless humidifier. So it's all battery operated. How it works is they, um, you buy these vials of water and then you stick it in here. It's like the little port. And then this is, you can see kind of like where your water reservoir is. That's like a tongue twister. Water reservoir in there. And then this is your power button. So you turn it on and then this controls the temperature. So I think the pamphlet said it can go up to like 100 degrees or something like that, which is crazy. And it does, you can do a cool mist one up to like a warm hot mist. So I think there's four settings that you can put it on. So just turn it on. And then here is the HEPA filter. So it does help make sure that you're breathing in clean air. So I mean, it has a HEPA filter, that's pretty amazing. So how you charge it, it's just down here. There's like a little plug in and then you just recharge. On one charge, I think you can get four sessions and each session is 15 minutes each. They recommend you do two sessions a day, so 30 minutes a day. They initially give you water with the kit, but then if you wanna to continue to use it, you do have to purchase the water, which you can buy off of Amazon. Um, which I, what I really like about this is that this does really help open my airways. It does help uh, help open my nasal cavities. So I don't feel so stuffy. I feel like I can kind of breathe a little bit easier. Um, now I do want to be very clear about something. This is not like a nebulizer. So the difference is, you know, you can't put breathing treatments in here to help with like asthma or like, um, you know, COPD, like those type of like lung conditions. That's not what this is for. This is really just to help kind of open things up and add hot steam and warm steam to kind of help open the passageways, right? So I wanna be clear about that, that this is not like a nebulizer or like what would be considered like a medical device. This is like a personal humidifier, so that's a difference. Um, a lot of professional singers actually use um, personal humidifiers because it just kind of helps with their vocal cords and again, opening up your airways so you can get full range of breath and you know, it helps you sing better. So again, this is the style I got. They have also two just regular personal humidifiers that are plug-in type. Um, I do have one of those as well. It's from the Vicks brand. I paid like, I think 50 bucks for it like two summers ago. 
Um, but why I wanted a cordless one is for travel. So we've been traveling a lot. We plan on doing some more travel. And so I just want to be able to take something with me. Um, and if I'm in a situation where I can't plug in, like I want to be able to just turn this on, get some relief and move about my day. Um, you can get this at Walmart. That's where I bought mine. I bought mine off of Walmart. Um, Amazon and I believe Target also sells this. They also, in addition, I know Walmart and Amazon sell the refill waters. And I believe Walmart and Amazon also sell the accessories. Like you can get like an, another mask if this one gets damaged or dirty. There's like a hands-free strap that you can wear around your neck so it just kind of keeps the mask on your face while you're using your hands. Um, there's some other accessories that you can get, but so far I've been using this for about two, three weeks now, and I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's going to be something I'm going to continue to use long term. So check it out if you're interested. Um, like I said, I've been really enjoying it, especially just helping me get through this season of whatever is in bloom that my body is revolting against. So again, this is the My Pure Mist Free. So again, you can... You can do your research. Last thing, and I'm actually gonna take a sip from it, is these SLM Trek cups. So I may have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> um, this is my newest one that I purchased, but I have like maybe three or four of these. If you're on the world of TikTok, you've seen these everywhere. This is like the answer to the Stanley cup that's like, ridiculously outrageous like I think the Stanley one they want like 40 to 60 dollars depending on the style this is like 25 30 dollars so literally half the cost and I find it's better so I do have a Stanley um cup like this and I actually prefer this over my Stanley I feel like this keeps my liquids colder longer it definitely certainly keeps ice longer um and I don't know, I just, I like the design of it a little bit better. This is more leak proof than the Stanley because it's an actual like twist on lid versus I think the Stanley's like that, but then the way that you access the hole is like this flip kind of style. And if you turn the cup over, if the flip, you know, moves, all your drink spills out versus this is like, you know, you actually stick your straw in. So it's, it's a lot more leak proof than the Stanley. They have more fun colors. This is their eighties one, I think, which is super fun. Um, so yeah, actually I've kind of gotten my family onto this. My brother is like obsessed with this now. So I got him one for his birthday. I'm getting my, I'm getting my family on the game here, <laughs> but it's, it's really nice. Um, and like I said, it's, I feel like it's a better alternative to the Stanley cup and it's just a lot cheaper and it's, it's a better quality in my opinion. So you can find this on the SLM site, San, S is in Sam, L is in lamb, M is in Mary.com. Or you can go on Amazon and just look up the slim Trek 40 ounce cup. And this is what is there. I don't know if this style is on there yet. This is like their new, new style. So I don't know if Amazon has the newest one, but if you're interested in this one specifically, this is the 80s one. I also have like a one in black. I have one in like a tan color, one in like a pinky color. And this one. So this is my fourth one, this guy. So it's great. So that is everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, a special thank you if you are a subscriber of this channel and continue to watch my content. Um, I know I'm not the most consistent uploader. I know that I, you know, I'm kind of a hit and miss right now, but, um, you know, I, I still enjoy making YouTube videos. It's just not my full-time job, um, which I've talked about many times here. It's not my full-time job, so I don't need to upload to sustain the channel if that makes any sense um I guess what I'm trying to say is that this is truly a hobby for me so I upload when I have the time and I kind of just want to get back into the groove of things um so yeah I'll just I'll continue to upload here and there but thank you for being patient and continue to support the channel even though I'm not a consistent uploader I'm not consistent with any of this um 
And also, I was gonna say something else about that. Um, yeah, just continue to support me and feel free to share my content with your friends. I would though love to hear feedback from y'all, whether you're a subscriber or not. You know, if you watch this channel consistently but you're not subscribed, um, you know, give me some feedback on some things you would like to see from me going forward. Like I said, I like doing this type of stuff where I talk about my favorites. I do like vlogging. Um, I do though feel like I kind of talk myself out of vlogging sometimes because then I'm like, well, who just wants to see my life? But if that's stuff you guys want to see, I'm con I'm happy to continue the vlogs. I just need to get feedback on if that's something you would want to watch. Um, so I'm happy to, to do that for y'all. Just leave me a comment below and say, yes, keep the vlogs going or hey, no, I'm, I don't really like the vlogs. I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings any. Um, just, just let me know what you'd like to see. Um, if there's anything new that you would want to see from me in terms of like, if you want me to start doing more reviews of beauty products or um, reviews of lifestyle stuff. I mean, there's, there's so many ways that I could go with the beauty lifestyle type of space, but just kind of need some ideas from y'all. And so just let me know what you want to see. I would definitely take it into consideration and think about it and see how I can kind of implement it in the channel. This is like kind of an open book at this point. So I'm not really um, shutting off any ideas. So all that being said, please leave me a comment below if you have anything to say or if you have any thoughts about what I just shared there. would love to hear your perspective. All right, guys, until the next video, take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.